Good morning, everybody. It's day two of my road trip south. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, as you can see, which means I'm ready to tackle the Blue Ridge Parkway, handling every twisty at 70 miles an hour with my knee down. But as you can see, it's pretty cloudy out. We had a lot of rain early this morning. Uh, I actually hung out for a bit, hoping the rain would stop, which it did. And the sun has been coming out and drying off the roads. So I am going to get back on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I still have about, I don't know, almost 350 miles to my next stop uh, down by Deals Gap. Uh, the parkway is a fun ride. I think compared to Skyline Drive, it's not as scenic. Skyline Drive is a much more beautiful ride if you're looking for great views. But the parkway is a much more fun road. It's a little faster, a heck of a lot twistier. We're going to get on the road. It is so much warmer this morning than it was all day yesterday. It's already 50 degrees. South is to the right. See how it goes. This is not like I was joking in my intro for today's video. This is not the uh, king of the baggers. My knee ain't going down. So, <laughs> oh, by the way, I'd certainly appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll get an alert when my next video is out. Appreciate you tuning in. I'll well, see, this morning when I saw the weather, I really was, was very close to not even trying the parkway today. I'm already glad that I did. It's beautiful it's just gorgeous and yeah you know there are no leaves but it's still really pretty the grass is still green it's a little windy so far temperature wise it's still 56 so that's really good I might have to stop and take off my thermal layer I'm sweating like a pig all right guys well that's all I had in my mind tonight we'll be in Fontana Village, North Carolina, and then tomorrow we're going to do the dragon, baby. I'm going to put my music on, which means I'm putting your music on. And yes, mine is much better. Ha <laughs> ha. that is that my friends is much prettier GoPro's getting all this. It's pretty high. Not the Rockies, that's for sure.
Spartacus. Might be picture time, guys. Well, it's pretty dry here, <laughs> but windy as hell. these fixed bearing bikes can't act as a wind sail guess what you're wrong like right there totally was going to carry me to the opposite lane getting a challenger just keep in mind it's got a fairing that fairing can definitely carry you out of your line and I've experienced that a few times up here in the mountains you just gotta you gotta be prepared for it when you feel the wind be prepared to adjust be prepared to lean into it and for those of you wondering about all my neck and shoulder issues so I was on the bike for like you know 10 hours yesterday all told well, maybe not, maybe eight hours and I woke up this morning I felt fantastic I uh, hadn't felt that good since I had the chieftain to be honest so so far so good I get a little soreness in my shoulder while I'm riding I just move and stretch uh, but once I'm off the bike I feel great so you know the two inch reduced reach bars have really been helpful on that score and we'll keep playing around with it you know it would be great if I could get this bike to the point where it's not just good, but where it basically acts as physical therapy for my neck and my shoulder. And the pain just stays away for weeks at a time. That would be fantastic. And I would also add that the seat on the Challenger is awesome. I was on it for hours yesterday. I had a little tailbone soreness, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I think that's like lingering damage from the chieftain seat. That's how awful the chieftain seat is. Like my tailbone still gets achy when I flex, and I think it's from the chieftain. I swear to God, I could be wrong, but I, I, I feel like I could be in this this seat all day long, day after day after day without a problem. And uh, if I ultimately decide to get a new seat to move myself a little closer to the bars, I'll be really disappointed because otherwise there's no reason to change the seat. It feels great. We shall see. windy up here it, it is blowing my head around as you may have just noticed hopefully down lower it'll be better I thought it was so windy at my last stop for my battery change I thought I was gonna blow the bike over that's how windy it was
so pretty. So cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Wish there's a place to pull over. So guys, we're still in the parkway, and we're getting 50 mile an hour gusts of wind, and it's just too much. So we're going to get out of here, head down south. I mean, it's really gusty. So we are going to get on to a local North Carolina highway it's not an interstate I'm not sure what it is really and skedaddle down to Fontana Village North Carolina where we're staying tonight and you know what I would say about the Blue Ridge Parkway from a motorcyclist's perspective it is absolutely amazing for riding a motorcycle uh, far more exciting and fun than Skyline Drive. Uh, I think Skyline Drive has some better views, although there is one stretch, and I'll make sure that I include it in the final video for the parkway, where you're kind of on a, a bridge going over a crevasse and around a mountain. It's just breathtaking, and I should have stopped, and I didn't. And I will regret that until I come back. But anyways, uh, Skyline Drive has, generally speaking, better views. And Blue Ridge Parkway has much better motorcycle roads. Uh, I think it would be better to come when it's warmer and dry. Um, or, you know, earlier in the fall so you can see all the pretty leaves. Uh, you know, I, I found an app for, you know, autumn that lists, you know, where different parts of the country are at plush, you know, at, at peak autumn colors. And this week is supposed to be the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I think the hurricanes that came through uh, last week kind of ended that early. If you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up put my ride and ride related content out every Friday so hit that subscribe button click that notification bell and you'll get alerted the next time my new video is out and until tomorrow's part three tale of the dragon this is DMV solo riders saying so long and stay safe out there <laughs>